Hi, in this video I will talk about sources for background information. I will highlight some examples and then I will suggest some finding tools to help you find these sources. This information is for the early stages of research, basically the first couple steps. Typically, you are in this stage after you've gotten inspired and found a broad topic that interests you and is relevant to your assignment. During this stage of research, you will need to learn more about your topic, get a solid overview of it, and get to know more about narrow aspects. You also need to learn about significant researchers, authors, books, and articles related to your topic. For example, in your class on youth culture, you may decide to research cyberbullying. You will need an overview of cyberbullying and bullying in general. You will want to look out for the various aspects of this topic, such as what motivates kids to do this, how do victims cope, what are parents' reactions? How are schools reacting? What is the government doing about this trend? And many, many other aspects and questions that may spring to your mind as you're getting familiar with the topic. Some good sources for this stage are reference sources, such as encyclopedias, textbooks, subject guides, dictionaries, and Wikipedia entries. These kind of sources are also known as tertiary sources when compared to primary sources and secondary sources. These sources compile a lot of information about a topic and present very broad overviews, whereas primary and secondary sources will get much more specific and in-depth on a narrow aspect like gender differences in cyberbullying. You will need those types of sources just a little bit later when you come up with a solid, focused inquiry question. Because cyberbullying is a fairly new strain of bullying, there are not many encyclopedias devoted to the subject, but there is the Encyclopedia of Juvenile Violence, which is available here at Western, and this could help you understand the various aspects of bullying and violence so that you can then connect it to historical bullying behavior and current cyberbullying trends. The Wikipedia article on cyberbullying is also very helpful since it can easily stay up to date with the trends. After doing a web search, it also looks like there is a newly published reference book called Cyberbullying, a reference handbook. And that one would probably be a really great resource as well. Use OneSearch to find reference sources by typing a few keywords plus the word encyclopedia or the word reference or handbook. Browsing the physical reference collection in Wilson 2 is also a great way to discover relevant reference sources too. Just be sure to look in the correct Library of Congress call number ranges, or talk to a research consultant for more tips and help. To find reference sources online, you can search within Wikipedia itself, or include the words Wikipedia or Wiki with your other keywords when you do use a general search engine like Google. In general search engines, you can also use your keywords plus the terms encyclopedia or reference or handbooks, just like you did with OneSearch. To get the most out of reference sources for background information, use the chapters and headings to narrow in on the most relevant topics or sections of the book. Remember your purpose, which is to get an overview and discover the various narrow aspects of a topic so that you can develop your inquiry question and go on to the next stage of finding in-depth sources like books and scholarly articles. Since reference sources combine a lot of current and expert information, they're really great for finding the names of authors, researchers, books, and articles that are significant and foundational to the topic or the inquiry question. Make note of all the promising citations to find other sources in your following stages of research. You will be on the fast track to finding relevant and reliable sources. So now you should have a good idea of what types of sources are good for background information, how to find them, and how to make the most of them.